What is going on, guys? Welcome to just a very short upload. Uh, this upload is actually, it, like I said, it's going to be short. It's just going to be discussing a little something. So, with Star Wars Guild Republic's producer live stream coming this Tuesday at 3 o'clock PDT, and they have been posting, you know, all these Fallen Empire screenshots, just captioning, you know, uh, stay subscribed to the game because we have a very big, big announcement coming this Tuesday. Uh, so, I've been following all that stuff on Facebook as usual. And recently, I'm not sure how long ago, probably about an hour ago, maybe, they posted a, a I, don't, I can't even tell you how many photos they've already posted, um, but they recently posted another photo, and they were talking about uh, stay subscribed to the game for this huge announcement, etc. This is like, I was joking with this comment, and I was just saying, uh, Finally, or something like that, we can have let the subscribers disable level sync. And here's where I really get annoyed in the most ticked off way is that other people will look at your comment and they are they just it's like they look at you in a disgusted way and they just have to throw their negative opinion out. And it's like, really? And so, first off. I have been a sub supporter for this game ever since it launched, okay? Now, I'm not that good with gear leveling up. Um, not leveling up, I'm sorry, gearing up. But throughout all these years, I've learned how to do that properly. And I have, on Harbinger, roughly about 12 characters who are fully, almost fully geared, I would say. In my honest opinion, I would probably have maybe three of the four characters you know, fully augmented, whatnot. And according with my main bounty hunter, she is in full 216 to 220 rated gear augmented with the newest augment for 208. And it's just, you know, I post these comments on Facebook to hopefully get my idea out there. Because believe it or not, I'm still trying to disable level sync to this day. And I'm, I'm not going to quit until Eric Musco comes to me and just says, you know, hey, look, we can't do it. So then I'll officially quit once that's done. But this one dude, I'm not going to say who his name is, but this one dude said, um, I can actually look it up. But his comment just really annoyed the hell out of me for no reason. I'm not sure why. He said, well, it's only noobs like you with probably 198 gear needing it off, while us pro Swator players with 216 to 224 gear don't need it. First off, you never judge a person just by their comment. That is the most retarded thing you can ever do on Facebook. And believe me, I put, I put up with a shitload of drama on Facebook for about, I don't even know, five years maybe. And it's just this dude is he's judging for my uh, for my honest opinion to get rid of level sync. I don't Yes, I do mind for it because what he's saying is completely wrong. And how the hell does he even know, you know, how do I know he's, you know, in the 216 to 224 rated gear? You don't know that exactly unless he proves it, you know. That's what I'm saying, though. It's just people like this on Swator make Swator a bad game. Is that, you know, they just judge anyone by what they're what they're saying, how they're saying it, I guess. You know, it just really upsets me a lot. And it just really pisses me off beyond belief. So, you know, like I said, just don't ever judge me without getting to know me first and without even you know, looking at my entire gear online. I mean, I know this is stupid to actually upload this and get my opinion, but I really think I should get it out and just, you know, fuck it. But Pro Swator players, that's what really pissed me off right there, because I am a Pro Swator player. I've been playing this game ever since launch, like I just mentioned earlier. And, you know, looking at my screenshot right now on screen, you can see, you know, Crest of the Dreadmaster... 
everything. I've completed so many achievements. I've gotten, you know, just so far into Star Wars Old Republic. It's just people like those really don't need to be on this game. They really need to be removed, in my honest opinion. And I know that's really selfish to say that, you know. I'm complaining about some dude's comment and etc. But it's just my honest opinion what I really think should happen. And like I mentioned earlier, I really am going to continue trying to get rid of level sync. Um, I have been informed by Eric Musco that he has indeed taken my su uh, suggestion and he's going to bring it over to the developers. So I don't know what's going to happen next. That was, I, I want to say that was last Wednesday or Thursday, I'm not sure. But I saved all the messages on the Sator forum, so I'm going to keep, I'm going to try to have them update me as much as possible uh, with, these, with these suggestion. There we go. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. It's just basically the main fact, the main idea of this video is don't ever judge anyone without, you know, getting to actually know who they are. Because... Yeah, a lot of people do actually have feelings for this game, and I'm actually one of those people who has a lot of emotional feelings, you know? I mean, believe me, if this game ever shut down, I'm sure billions, and I mean billions of people would start crying because they lost everything. I mean, I know I did when Clone Wars Adventures shut down. I just, it was like a huge slap in the face. It was like, you spent all your money on this, so we're going to take it away. But... No, I'm not going to think about that for Swator for probably another two to three years, hopefully. But uh, hopefully this game does indeed grow beyond expectations. I know other people have been trying to say, oh, there's going to be a Swator number two and etc. But there, it's never been confirmed, so stop saying it. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this video. Uh, like I said earlier... Try to stay. Try your best to stay to stay subscribed. Uh, by Tuesday, I'll try and post a link for the live stream in the descriptions below if you want to catch that. It is Tuesday, December first at three o'clock to three thirty PDT. Producer live stream. Uh, subscri subscribers' biggest reward, I think. I'm not entirely sure what it is, though, because they're not hinting out anything. It's just a giant secret, and it's really... If there's one thing Bioware has always been good at with Sultor is always getting our hopes up and always getting us hyped up beyond belief, you know. Anyway, that's all I have to say. So stay tuned, and see you next time.